Yes, sir. Then I pick our country boyo. And why? Well, he was in the episode. Um, I don't, I don't remember the name, but he was in the episode. I don't remember, but yeah, when we saw him, he was a, he did a great role actually. Went with Waxer. Then we'll show him later. And he was commanded he with Waxer when a ton of they can go undetected. So that and we ne and then we saw him in the episode landing point ring. So we there was one of the then this is my personal one of the various clone episodes. We have a lot of action. So we saw him rescuing Kanui and Clone Trooper Trapper. So yeah. Next we got our trooper Yesi. So one, so first one we saw him on the episode of Mara, he was in one episode. He was with Hard Case and Fives going on to the exploder, and he was part of it. He was then he was almost gonna be executed, and it was for the special Clone Trooper Fives, and then he, and then he became Arc Trooper in the Bad Bash episodes. That was first cancel and they're not cancel anymore. Ray. Then we got Waxer. Why Waxer? Well he well he followed Numa. Well you said do not go. Let her go. But like what but because of Waxer they go. They were, he was also in the episode of landing point rain. Did the scene just boil? Take the risk you can only include Trooper Trapper. And we and then we saw him. That's when we saw him. And the last thing we shall saw him for now. That he was in the episodes of Mbara, late to 2012. So he was probably promoted to commander or something. And then we saw him dies. He dies. That's very sad, actually. Next week got Commander 4. And what Commander 4? Well he actually went to his by him stepping the Crimson Guard in his battle on the episode, I thought it was Crisis on Scipio, I don't know. But in that episode, he was fine with his own, he was the last man standing, and he did a very, and he, and he's a badass clone trooper, a badass clone commander. So yeah, so at number five, we got Commander Wolf, and Commander Wolf was seen in, first time we saw him was in the episode, so if Plo Koon, he knew the weapon, so Shadow Scrum would destroy it, if that wasn't going for us for you. Then we saw him again, rescuing Mace Windu and Anakin Skywalker. Isn't that, is that so horrific for you? No? Then let's go on. He did this. He was sent into a plan, to a plan to deliver supplies. Supplies. Yeah, and he was also sent to be captured to rescue a Jedi Knight. I forgot her name. The leader of the Reconnaissance Corps. And yeah, so is that not it all for you? But I know what the heck is gonna be for. We got Clone Trooper Echo. And the first episode we saw him was in the episode Rookies. Then we saw him on the episode Cadets. If you didn't know this, but I believe most people know this, that the episode that was before the episode of Rookies. Oh, and the sign in Trespass and the Hidden Enemy is before the Clone Wars movie. If you didn't notice that. Now we're going to talk about that. Hey, go back. The guy out that way. So then we saw in the episode uh, that he sacrificed himself to the Republic and move on. And then we saw him on the Uncan. And if you, if you want to see that you didn't know, you yeah, know what unfinished episodes? Then now they're gonna be from Clones is safe. They use to skip this point. And then we see he's not dead. So yeah. Number four, we got Clone Trooper Heavy. And why Heavy? Well when you first saw in the episode Rookies. And yeah, he sacrifices it and but first we talk about episode cadets. So in episode cadets when we saw him, he was scared. he was he was gonna retire go. And then 99 says, do not go, and then they win because of him. And then we saw him sacrifice his own life on the planet Rishi Moon. And for that, they know they are incoming. 
Except with this invasion to plant Camino. No, seriously. If there wasn't B for him, the only thing would be Clone of Security. But not the regular Italian. So, yeah. Number three, we got Clone Trooper Captain Rex. I'm not gonna talk every time because this will be a video of one hour! But I don't understand why he's even heroic. But it's actually really gonna be Alpha. But we're not gonna talk about Alpha. He's in the comics. So that was, so uh, yeah. So you know Rex, so he was in the Imperial ship. He was in the Rishi Moon. He was in the Battle of Camino. He was in the Battle of Mara. He was all over the battle. Basically, all over the battles, actually. But I'm gonna, and please don't hear the comments that I didn't say a lot of stuff because. I don't like that much tricks. So we got our trooper, Ordo. And White Ordo, well, first we saw him on the Clone Wars cartoon. And when we saw him, he was, um, uh, so he was taking the, the planet. I think it was Hypori, yeah, Hypori, I think, mean, no. That was it, no, from a planet. They took out the droid gun, then take on Dirish. Then he was in a Dathomir comic. They saw. They're not gonna talk to that. And then we saw him on the at the rescue of a Pori. Then we saw him on the Battle of Coruscant. And the only and he was under pressure. Yeah, that was a cool scene. He was under pressure. Make like a commander dance and why? Well, he was gonna be really in the of suit instead of blind. But we're not gonna talk about that. But he was in Star Wars comics, and one he was in the Battle of Eonosis, separated, and he was defending for a one-year clone trooper for three hours until the emergency rescue team. And that actually, he actually kept fighting for one clone trooper. Most commanders leave it for dead. Um, this is a clone. Um, and this is a clone, high-ranking clone trooper. Then in the battle, in an R battle, that. The Jedi were all dead, and he took command of all the clone battalions, and they steadily walked face to him. So if there's a Narcon, so if there's a clone more heroic for the Republic, it's definitely Commander Dennis. To share with your friends, like, subscribe, and you and you don't think hit the bell so every time we post a new video, be the first one to know when it's posted. From Shannon Clone Wars, bye bye.